Last summer we, we put on a camp for the for I think about 18 army squash players. We've signed an MOU agreement with them and yeah the national training camp for them we held at the, at the centre in Manchester and three, like a three day camp and it just came about really just through some conversations with Captain Rosie Hamilton just to discuss maybe how we could do like an exchange. I'm Captain Rosie Hamilton currently serving in the Royal Engineers and I'm also a member of the Army Squash Committee uh, and at the moment part of my responsibilities are to deliver Exercise Iron Racket. So Exercise Iron Racket is a 48 hour engagement activity in partnership with England Squash. Uh, we've got 13 members of the England Squash Academy here at, at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst um, and they're doing 48 hours of values training aimed at personal development uh, and athlete development. Basically the, the whole idea was to kind of take them out of their comfort zone and challenge them. You know, they've been doing lots of things like navigation, learning how to map read, use a compass, putting their own bashes up, like making camp out, out in the elements in the woods, on rations, cooking their own food, that sort of thing. Things that are going to really help develop them as, as people, some skills that they can take away from here that will uh, serve them well going forward. Uh, so I think a, a really broad range of tasks focused on both team uh, and individual development uh, and also some leadership development. Um, they've done navigation, uh, they've done lots of kind of physical and mental what we call command tasks, so problem solving, things requiring memory, teamwork, communication um, and that kind of thing and they're also doing some slightly more physical tasks. They're doing well. Um, some surprises, particularly on the navigation side, they've actually been much stronger than we were expecting. Um, we're now on day two, so they've uh, been here almost 24 hours. And within that time, they've only had uh, probably a, between three and four hours sleep. Um, so they are a little bit tired. We're still starting to see motivation become a bit more of a challenge, but they're still enjoying it and yeah, still getting lots out. The Army's values are courage, respect for others, discipline, integrity, selfless commitment and loyalty. So all of the activities that the players do are designed to target all of those values and because although they're the Army values, actually those are equally applicable to elite sportsmen and women of whatever sport. What we really looked for with this was like these guys are physically in pretty good shape already. So it wasn't, you know, when, when Rosie and I talked this through, we, we talked a lot about the kind of the core values of the army, uh, mental resilience, mental development. So those kind of uh, skills really, and you know, things that go with the army, things like 
you know, the leadership, the, the, the teamwork, the honesty, integrity, loyalty, that, those sort of core values really. And I've had classes on that. In between all the activities, there's been lots of um, discussions and, and almost like classroom chats around the campfire about those sort of things. Um, and the importance of looking out for each other and, and you know, serve to lead, I think, is their motto. And it's, yeah, it's, it's been great. It's been a fantastic experience and an amazing really for them to have this opportunity and I think they should all feel very privileged. It gives me great pleasure to take our part in uh, signing the Armed Forces Covenant with Squash Skills today. Uh, it's probably the fourth one we've done in the Squash Arena after the PSA and England Squash. And it's a great commitment and Squash Skills is going to play a vital part in improving Army players, both regular and reserve, as we go forward to the Army Championships. So we're delighted to have signed the Armed Forces Covenant today and really excited about helping progress the level of squash but also support the Armed Forces servicemen after they finish their career in the Army.